In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to look at how to crop and straighten images. You can use it by either going into the Express Mode or the Full Mode. We'll use the Express Mode for now. That will prompt us to load an image. We'll pick this one here. And I can double click or click it once and click on the Open button. And now I've opened my image. Now, in order to get to this tool, if you're in the Express Mode, you need to click on the Adjust Manually button in the lower left corner of the screen. That will take you to the same screen you find if you go to the Full Mode under the Adjustment button in the upper left corner. Now, we have two types of adjustments. We have Global Adjustments and Regional. The Regional Adjustment we're looking at is the first of seven tabs. It's called Crop and Straighten. It's the leftmost one. We'll click on that now. I'm going to change my view here so all I see is the image. And now I have my Crop and Straighten. There's two very important things that I can do here. It gives me the original aspect ratio. I can click in the left panel on the down arrow and choose several that I like. Now it started out in Landscape and I can pick several other different landscape options in terms of the shape of it. Now I can also drag in any of the corners to change it, but it will keep the same ratio. It's still a 7 by 5 ratio image. I can also actually change it to a portrait. This way I can convert a landscape image to a portrait image and a portrait to a landscape. Now you notice I can't drag the side I can make it smaller or larger, but it will retain that ratio that I've chosen. Let's go back to one that's a landscape one. Let's go 11 by 8.5. Now I can change it to this size or anything I like, but if I want to make it custom, I have to click on the lock next to the aspect ratio. Now I can make it any kind of size I want to. So now it's a non-conventional ratio in what I have here. I can not only move it, but I can resize it. So if that's what you want, that's what all your options. So you can wind up with anything you like, whether it's a standard ratio or a custom one you make yourself. I think I'm going to go back to a 7 by 5. And you'll notice when I click on it, it automatically locks it for me. If you want to turn it back to what it was when you started, you just click the reset on the lower right of that control. Now the other option we have here is Angle. I'm going to click on the little angle icon on the left side and drag this. Now what this does is this will create a new horizontal. If I want the horizontal here to be more or less a shoreline, I'm going to click here and then I just drag. and I'll make it something parallel to the shoreline. And now notice what it will do. It will tell me the largest image I can have within the new angle of the frame. So the nice thing is, is you can't make this go outside the frame. You'll make sure you have content in all four corners when you do this. I can't make it bigger because of the limitations of what's on the screen already. I can make it smaller if I want, but I cannot make it larger. So now I have it this way. We've straightened it out. And when I'm ready, I'll just click on Done. And there's my new image where the shoreline is parallel to the bottom edge of the photograph. So that's basically what you can do with the crop and the straighten as the first tab in the Regional Adjustments tool. We'll be looking at all of the tabs in upcoming lessons.